And I think that works if you're going. Stop it! <gasps> Travel day. We're in LA. Look at this beautiful RV ground. It's right on the beach. Ba -ba -ba. What? It's travel day. Oh, you just look stoked to be a travel day. Not a great day? Not good for our time crunch. Are we the last ones? I guess the silver lining there was we were so pressed for time that uh, I didn't check one of these bags. I just snuck it on. Seems like a made up rule. I guess you can't always do that. Here's the deal. Uh -huh. You get to pick any cards you want in President's Circle. The only problem is there is not a single car. Hold on, there might be some over here. It's like we we finally hit the top tier of everything rental car and there's not a single car. Excuse me. There's not a single car in President's Circle. They're coming. Sir. They're coming. Just, wait five Just to hang. Ten minutes. Okay. Cadillac is pretty good. We want that BMW. We're in Colorado. Why are we here? We're gonna see Sam. Oh, we're gonna see your friend Sam and ski together. I was thinking today, in Casey Neistat's monthly filmmaking course, he said every story's got a beginning, a middle, and an end. Act one, act two, act three, right? So he's riding his booster board somewhere. Act two, he gets somewhere, there's the climax. Act three, he goes home, he's with Candace and the kids. Then what he went on to say was, every single afternoon he had this like, oh shit moment where he lost the plot of the thing and couldn't figure out what the story was, but he knew it would always come together in the edit. I bring this up because Casey also said that travel days were the absolute best. Act one, act two, act three. The easiest for him was to storytell on a travel day. And I think that works if you're going... Stop it! Almost got decapitated. I think that works if you're going to race supercars in Dubai. I've been thinking about this today because I can't tell you how many like travel vlogs I've seen that have been influenced by Casey Neistat and they're just like shitty jump cuts moving through an airport going up escalators sitting in a plane seat open the window shade look out the window close the window shade <sighs> I disagree my travel days are the hardest to vlog and I, I feel like they've been bastardized because of Casey's format it doesn't work if you're not going to freaking a wave pool in in Houston Texas that's my two cents So what do you think about the uh, Casey Neistat everyone going through an airport travel vlog that's not Casey Neistat? Let me know down below. I'm sure you've seen them everywhere. I do love Casey Neistat travel vlogs because it works for his niche, for his storytelling. I don't like when anyone else does it, myself included. I just, and when the day goes so smoothly, it's like, well, I guess it didn't. We almost missed our flight. That was a good storyline. But yeah, it's like six years old now. I, I think it's, I think it's time we move on. We'll see if this makes the final cut, but if you don't want your poop to splash you, you need to put a piece of toilet paper on the surface to break up the surface tension from going 